Devin Butler has been having problems at school. The school called again, Devin. We're not finished, Mr. Butler! It seems like everyone is against him. Wedgie time! <laughs> Watch it. He's all alone with no one on his side. Lies are not explanations. But things are about to change. Do all cups do that? Only the best. <laughs> Universal Pictures presents Cop and a Half. That's why I call it Cop and a Half, because I'm the half and burst the cop. Cop and a Half. Where the hell you been? Starring Burt Lewis. Burt plays Nick, Nick McKenna. Ruby D. Ruby D plays my grandmother, and she's nice. Introducing Norman Golden II. You smell like Bobby. I meant it in the nicest way. Directed by Henry Winkler. It's directed by Henry Winkler. Thank you, Norman. Cop and a Half is a story about a cop and a kid. Cop and a Half is a story about a cop and a kid. Are you some kind of bonehead or what? I'm not. Devin is a curious kid and likes cops a lot. Devin, you gotta stop playing stupid cop games. But if you were a cop, people don't sass you. The bullies, you know, these big jumbos keep sticking him in toilet bowls in school and taking his money. And he wants security. When you were in school, kids ever pick on you. Yeah. He has such a passion to be a police officer. And now he'll get his chance. Young Devin here witnessed a crime earlier this evening. I was up in the thing where, you know, where they carry the cement down. I was up there, and I was um, looking like, looking what they were doing, and they put chicken in his mouth. Got a witness. You got a witness? Yes, sir. Where is he? You need me to testify and identify, right? I don't think I like that question. Why? I'd like to cut a deal. What? He wants to be a cop. Anyway, they're thrown together because the kid witnesses a murder and will not tell us who the murderer is unless he can ride with me in the car. They're going to let me be a cop. And I want him in that car like I want manure in the car. <coughs> At this very moment, the pink, delicate tissues of my still-forming lungs may be shriveling into green chunks of mucus. So Nick and I become partners, and I don't think he's so happy about it. I can't. I don't get along with kids. I don't, I don't like them. They don't like me. Oh, I have nothing to cares. You can't have any fun with a kid. You take a kid to a bar. He has one drink. He falls off the stool. What? What? He now is forced to live with one of the cops because the bad guys are coming to his house. It's just some kids. But we know where he lives. They're kind of goofy. They are killers who um, happen to be hysterical. Hey, choo, choo, get him, get him, get him, hey, hey, hey. And cut! You got it, boss. Go! Come in! Go! Go! For veteran actor Burt Reynolds, working on the set with an eight-year-old was a new experience. So this is really the first picture I've ever done with a kid. Nice. Very nice. He may look tough, you know, and playing cop movies, but he's nice. I love kids, and I get along great with them. I work great with them. Well, you can't hardly see his muscles, but Bert's kind of like, well, I shouldn't say an old cop, but I don't know how old he is, probably 30 something. Norman opened his mouth in front of Bert. Bert turned to us and said, start the camera. And action! Get in the car! Don't sass me, Mr. Fleming. What are you doing? You're under arrest for violating Code 27. Ah! Ah! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Shut up, kid. I can't handle this anymore. I cannot handle it Henry Winkler used his many years of on-camera experience to inspire his actors before the cameras rolled. Being a, an actor first is a tremendous help. Happy days. I acted out for him. You know? And I said, now this scene, this is what you do. Finds he's, he, the Henry Winkler. Ooh. He'd be like, concentrate. You have to concentrate. Energy, action. I want that plate number. I want it now. How did I do? Cut. It's a cop movie. <laughs> it, it, when you say cop, you, it's cop, all right. It's a comedy. It's a buddy picture. It's an action picture. And it's emotional. Can you believe my first feature film? I got chicken pox. You cannot get insurance for chicken pox. 
caught him off the air. I had eight of them, I think. Who ever thought that that would be a problem that we would have? The first, first day that I didn't feel any itchy, I went back to work. Cop and a half. What are you? I'm your worst nightmare. An eight-year-old with a badge. <laughs>